previously on Why Travel When You Can Live There. Kids and Penny are playing on the roof. <laughs> Mom's making lunch for everyone, and then we're gonna bug out. Heading to a Honda dealer in Tennessee, just over the border. There's been a strange shutter at certain speeds. In gear, if you put it in neutral, there's no shutter. So the thought is it might be engine mounts. I hope it's not transmission related. We just went through Flippin' Kentucky, and Toby's favorite part was the Flippin' Church of Christ. <laughs> We're on some teeny tiny back road for an abundance of miles, because there are no highways to get us from here to the Honda place. So we're just going through beautiful, beautiful countryside. So we're driving through Kentucky and all of a sudden, the GPS says, welcome to Tennessee. So here we are. This is Tennessee now. And he loves, loves sticking her head out the window. It's such a cool little mountain at the end of this little valley. Just poking up right here. So cute. And then around this way, there's another one. No, I said they look like those in Asia where the rock piles just poke straight up out of nothing. So pretty right here. Almost there. And we've just joined the main road. So that should make it a little easier on everybody's stomach awareness. We were just saying this tractor's flying for a tractor. Of course we're crawling for a car. Check it out, he's got a big hay bale spike on the front. Pretty cool. All right, we're at the Honda dealership in Cookville, Tennessee. Gentleman's been super helpful and friendly. They're gonna get us in. We made an appointment for two o'clock and scurried around Kentucky and Tennessee until we could make it here. Well, we're gonna go in and monopolize the waiting room. It is pet friendly. So we can bring Penny. Just gotta find mommy and Penny. There they are. It's pet friendly. Just need her to go potty. So let's. Okay. So the gentleman allowed us to park our camper behind the dealer. So we're gonna sort of make our home base out here. We can honestly, if you guys want, we can go inside, but we can also set up back here and just chill. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. We're treating everybody to a drink. Buck fifty a bottle. But glad they have them. Yeah. Our kids appreciate the little things in life. Kylie was commenting on how this waiting room compares to the ones that we go to and man, this is 120th or 125th the size of the waiting room there. It's quite funny, very small town. A lot of weight off my shoulders arriving here safely. We came over these country roads over the Appalachian Mountains that were um, low speed but high stress on the vehicle. Lots of ups and downs and tight turns and um, I'm just glad we're here. So that's a lot of stress off me. Now of course the stress is how much is this going to cost us, which I'm counting on a lot. And I'm counting on being here overnight in a hotel nearby with a rental car. So we'll see. Anything beyond that? Uh, or anything better than that would be uh, a 
surprise, a pleasant surprise. So we just heard back from the technician. It's a uh, CV joint. We don't know which one, so I'm going to have them replace both. And uh, so uh, CV joints, rotate the tires, oil change, and we're out of here. Yeah. Some free flowers. That's fine, yeah. Kelly's off to find some wildflowers in the field next door to the dealer. Exciting. We have just finished up at the dealer. It's, uh, I think it's roughly 6 o'clock. Uh, just 1100 bucks. We got two CV joints replaced. Obviously, the uh, wheels rotated and an oil change, which were regular maintenance we were going to do anyway. So, um, we're good to go. Hopefully, we can get to Roan Mountain tonight comfortably. It should be around 10, 11 o'clock. It's not awesome to arrive super late at night, but it should be a problem. Good to go. We're hooked up and ready to go. Just got to get Kylie from the flower field, which is that way, and we're out of here. He did a brake inspection for me. Rear are at five mil, they need to be replaced at three. Front are at eight mil, they need to be replaced at three. So we actually have 20, maybe 30, and away we drive around home, probably 40,000 miles before we need to bother with that. So things are looking good. I may do a suspension upgrade on the trailer when we're at uh, Roan Mountain, but we'll just take a, sort of take a boat on that as a family. If we want to go straight home, I might not bother with it. Um, but if we want to keep tooling around the southeast, <laughs> I'll do a, a suspension upgrade and uh, we'll be good to go. That bouquet of flowers is beautiful. I'm happy to be walking out of here with $1,100 worth of work that we would have needed to have done anyway, even if we were at home, because CV joints are CV joints, and if they go bad, you got to replace them. Uh, ergo, it wasn't some massive trip expense. We're just doing our thing. That happens to be in Tennessee, so I'm very happy. We stopped at a rest stop in Tennessee. We're looking at some possibilities for tonight. We're driving into a week of rain that we didn't realize when we booked our stay in Roan Mountain. It's going to be thunderstorms and in the 50s all week. So we're thinking rather than push 200 miles tonight like maniacs for no good reason, maybe we find something local, book that, and stay here, just relax for the night and then uh, cancel our Roan Mountain trip completely and head home, uh, leisurely, but head home. Because it just seems like a waste to sit in a camper, a teardrop camper, for a week, and then leave. For whatever $100. So yeah, for 150 bucks for the week, yeah. So now we're doing a little bit of PB&J on the road while we figure out what's next. Okay, change of plan, so we're gonna head south and um, find a place along the way and generally head in the direction of home. It is, what is it, Monday night, the 15th of June, and we're just gonna see what happens from here. Not having any luck with State Park, so we're gonna try a KOA park first. The office is closed, so we're also gonna try pulling into a KOA after hours. Crazy time. So we've arrived at what I think is called Sweetwater KOA in Tennessee, somewhere along I-75, exit 72. This place is great. We got a $40 site to pull through. All sites here are pull throughs. And this one is a water and electricity only site, which is all we need. They have sites that include cable television, which of course we don't need. So this is good enough for us. And, uh, Tonight Noah set us up in a hurry, Ben. He just got it up and done. I did the tent while he unloaded everything from the camper. We don't have any firewood because we arrived late enough the store was closed, so couldn't buy any firewood. But um, we are otherwise ready to go. Look, it's Toby. Hi. Hi, Toby. We're just chilling in the tent. Everybody chilling. Isaac's almost asleep already. Oh. Noah's chilling way back yonder. No, uh, isn't Isaac's turn with the phone? Kylie's hanging. I'm making a little oh, your little vision board. That's awesome. Toby, are you reading Why Travel? Toby's reading a book I wrote about our last trip. Maybe Good man. I don't have enough to go find it. To go find it? But I want to watch Netflix. Oh, that'd be fun. A little Netflix action going on. And then in here we have Lindsay and Penny. I don't know how, what we'll be able to see, 
But look, Penny, it's a camera. Oh, she's so interested. <laughs> Mommy, you're not gonna paw the tent too? <laughs> Knocked down in Sweetwater, Tennessee was so quick, I didn't film it. Uh, maybe like 10 minutes, if that. And uh, we're ready to go. We think we might just head for home since we're within, it's nine hours driving, probably about 14 hours driving for us. But we might just head for home since the uh, best options seem to be behind us. This is our neighborhood. So our little local McDonald's and grocery store and auto zone. We're almost home. Do you want more excitement? I, it's unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit some of that out. <laughs> there was much rejoicing. Yay. We're coming into our neighborhood. Penny, I think, definitely recognizes where we're at. What do you say, Penny? Are we home? Oh, are we home, Penny? Oh! Somebody will complain if I'm poking out the dog. Oh, yeah. it, so. As That's if, so as if, a, what's that? The house looks so good. It does look nice. As if a joke to us, the thunder and lightning is coming over the horizon right as we get home. So we're going to have to boogie to get our minivan unloaded. But the house, I, I forgot we left it like pristine. So everything is beautiful. Oh. It smells like a hotel room because nobody's I been know. in here for two weeks. <laughs> But it feels nice to be home, my goodness. Oh, We're home! Oh! <laughs> nice, all right, let's unload the camper first. This is an Italian feast to round out our camping two week period, our camping trip. We're around two weeks to the day. And now we've made continuity. Isaac and I lost all our hair on the trip at some point. He just got his cut. Toby's not yet. Tyler wants her hair cut. Uh, Isaac Noah's not ever gonna cut his hair. Ever again. But we are uh, we are settling in Berlin. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube.
find the internet password. Wait, actually, I'm not even sure if there is an internet password. I just saw a very suspicious looking thing that said KOA1 internet bit. I don't know what this is, but it looks explosive. Very cool KOA, especially for a first time. There's all sorts of stuff that I don't know about. Found a daddy long leg in our camper. Very, uh, not terrifying, but you know, startling. This is actually kind of a cool place. It's quite warm compared to the outside. Oh yeah. Very COVID safe environment, I will say that. Um, there's a gazebo, a trash can, a zoo campus, and yeah, that's it for this little adventure. I found the internet password on a little KOA map located neatly in the passenger compartment. It was this whole number of passwords, but I got it unlocked, and I'm gonna try to watch Netflix now.